In this video, I have a few very simple tips that are gonna help you stop playing the same old boring licks over and over. My first tip involves slides. I'm going to pick a note from the minor pentatonic scale. Let's take the first one, low E string fifth fret. I'm gonna slide out one fret below and one fret back in. And I can do that with all the different notes. Don't underestimate the simplicity of this idea. The reason it works so well to break the habit is that our muscles are not really used to playing those slides out and in. Okay, this next one involves visualizing the scale a little bit differently. Well, the pentatonic scale has two notes per string, and when you look at your instrument, you have a note on the left side towards the neck and another one on the right side towards the bridge. Visualizing the notes of the scale in uh, an ascending order, note one, two, three, four, and so forth, or backwards, will tend to create the same phrases. So what I suggest here is to group these notes according to where these notes are going to be found on your fretboard. And forcing yourself to play a series of notes that are on the same side will lead to new ideas. My next tip has been used quite a bit in guitar education, but it's so useful and that's why it's been used so often. So the idea is to take that first position of your minor pentatonic scale and combine it with the next one up. And now you have a new three note per string position that can be used to slide in and out of positions, create new patterns. The next tip is to explore the notes that are really close to the minor pentatonic scale. And when I say close notes, I mean very close notes. The notes that are one fret, below a note that you, you are playing within the pentatonic scale or one fret above. This gets into modal playing. Yes, we can use modes in the blues very naturally, but it starts with an education of the ear. And try the notes just one fret below. Do you like them? Yes. If you do, in this case it's the blue note, put them in the yes box. If you don't, funny because as I was just demonstrating this, there are actually not many notes that made it to the no box. And that's because the more you play, the more you discover that uh, really all notes can work as long as you approach them correctly and your ear kind of gets trained to, to know what to do with these notes. But that's the topic for another video. For now, force yourself to explore these close notes within reach of the minor pentatonic scale. Usually when you are within position, within that first position, you will use your index and your ring, maybe your pinky. And the ring and the pinky really go together. They are for these right side notes. The index is gonna play all the fifth fret in this case when we're in A. And when you're doing a position switch, you're going to switch your ring and pinky for the index. So for example, if I'm doing five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, this seven right here is played with the ring finger. I'm gonna do a position switch, playing this seventh fret with my index finger. And now all the right side notes are gonna be outside of that first position of the minor pentatonic scale. And now I'm kind of forced to operate in that zone of the fretboard, which might be a little uncomfortable. But that's okay, because whenever things are uncomfortable, you have to rely on something else, your inner musicality. Now, these two shapes are uncomfortable. They're easy to play, but they sound weird if not used in the right context. But when you use them in the right context, like described in this video, magic happens. Check it out. I'll meet you right there.